I don't know where I'm going to go with this. I really don't. That's why I'd rather not have my uh, my face on here. Uh, well, let's see. It's uh, Late Night Confessions was something that I started because of, of a situation. It was a it got started because of the situation and the situation put itself you know the situation put itself in a in a place where I guess I felt safe. Yeah. That's a good word. I felt safe like to just talk about stuff that I probably wouldn't tell nobody. So it was just important for me to do this because uh, therapy is uh, is not something that should be put in the box. It should be more like Pandora's box. And I'm going through this stage where my life is totally changing. And and even though it's changing for the better, it's a very painful transition. When I was growing up, I was always told, like, do good, be good, things will work out. I'm quite sure all of us had that fantasy regurgitated to us that's not the truth at all actually what the truth actually is is like the more good you do it's probably more likely that you know you gonna run into some bullshit and I never got it the understanding how when I was in the world like full-fledged in the world uh, I, I, I didn't perceive myself to have any problems or things wasn't so emotional for lack of better word because uh, uh, consciousness is a good word for it uh, empathy, sympathy, remorse, guilt. I, I didn't have any. So basically, I just did whatever the fuck I wanted to do. And, and, but I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that it, it don't matter how old you is. You, you learn shit, and if you're lucky, you will learn until you die. And I'm learning stuff that I thought I would learn a long time ago. You know what I mean? Because you, you have all these cliches and all this shit that people tell you when is the appropriate time and, and when is not the appropriate time, and you late to the party, you early to the party. And I'm realizing now that this, 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 that's just their shit, like, that they try to put on people. Because you learn when you learn. And I said it a lot of times, like, you know, I'm going straight. I'm flying straight, I'm going straight. But this is actually the first time that I'm actually fucking doing it. And... As good as it is for me and my sons, it, 
and my future wife is fucking petrified. I mean, I am petrified. And I'm saying this because I know there's a guy out there like me, a girl like me, who, who's who's fed up with the dumb shit, and so they gonna get their life together, like not in the sense of, like the cliche, get your life together, like do something that people perceive to be a good thing for you, but for you to like do what you know you gonna have to do in order to reach the next pinnacle in your life and I'm doing that I'm, I'm not regretful for doing it but it's absolutely petrifying and I know somebody out there who, who want to change their life who, who want to be a better person for the right reasons and and they might have a certain persona or they might have a certain swag they might have a certain reputation and it stops them from being able to say I am petrified because like that don't go with that tough image or whatever but, but I am petrified And, and and the new me it, it's it's something that I'm gonna have to get used to, and it's like I, I I'm not used to it. I'm not. I'm really not. Uh, you know, I, my injury caused me to lose a lot of good relationships because I never accepted the fact that I was injured. I I never gave myself the opportunity to say, damn dog, some really fucked up shit's happened to you right now. And I, I was so busy trying to keep it together for people and and show my and show my strong side and all that, that that I never even gave myself a break, and that shit like started to ingest itself in like other areas of my life, and it's like started to destroy shit that was good for me because I I, I never gave myself the opportunity to say, yo, this is really fucked up, dude. It's like being teased. Like tomorrow, I, I start the the walking pr process, and it just, it just hit me just now. Like, yo, you've been through some shit, man, and you haven't even gave yourself a break. You're still trying to act like ain't nothing wrong with you, or. Like that shit didn't even affect you, and it and it, and it and it fucked me up, man. And it made me treat people the way I felt. It made me treat people the way I felt. You know what I mean? Like I felt like you know if I, if I ain't get a break, I ain't give nobody shit. No breaks, no nothing. And I guess what I'm supposed to have did the total opposite. I guess I was supposed to understand that I'm supposed to give more breaks now because I wanted one. I don't know. But I had to do this shit at 2.40 something in the morning. AM because I, 
I was sitting here and I can't even go to sleep and it's like yo I don't have regrets about people. I, I just could have handled it a lot better, man. I should have handled it a lot better. I should have allowed myself to process it happening. I shouldn't have lied to myself like nothing's happening. And now I'm sitting here and I'm really understanding that we don't process stuff, you become intolerable. You become like unbearable and shit. Cause no one knows how to help you. No one under no one gets it because you ain't seen it. Through. I don't know. But those those were two things that I need to get out of my system. And I thank y'all for listening. I, it's the coolest shit in the world when total strangers give you support. It's it's the most amazing. It's one of the most addictive things in the world. Like these people don't know me at all. Majority of my fans don't know me at all. And the people who know me ain't don't like don't pay anything that I'm doing any attention. But when you get a stranger to you, like thank you, man. I need that shit. That's who I do it for now. I do it for the people who can't do it for themselves. It's okay for the cool guy to be weak, sad. It's okay, it's okay for the strong guy to be fatigued, exhausted. Thanks for letting me share. You cover one.